Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this tutorial we will go through the new options we have added to the merge dialog. First let's add to our teapot a bump map from the library. We decide over a map, drop it on the scene, and tell the dialog to connect it as bump. We will use master repeat to tile the map up or down. Next we will select the teapots objects and create a group called teapot. Next we will select both the group and its children objects and save selection is from the file menu. This will create an MKS file with the teapot group and its contents. This method will allow you to store models from a scene and then reuse them in other scenes. Let's move the source teapot back to its original position and merge the file we just created. On merge, Maverick will detect conflicts between the scene and the incoming model. In this case, there are conflicts with objects, materials, and maps. Each of these node families provides a separate action selector. We can simply add the nodes to the scene, preserve the scene nodes, preserve the incoming nodes, or skip over those nodes. In this first example we will add the objects to the scene, and use the scene's material and map nodes. As we can see, the teapot is merged, but using the existing materials and maps in the scene. We can modify these to make sure they are unique. Let's now move the objects and merge again. In the conflicts dialog we will choose to add objects again, but this time we will choose to use the incoming material and map nodes instead. As we can see, the model will roll back to the materials and maps it was saved with. Let us now delete all the teapots but one and merge again. This time we will choose to add everything to the scene. We will end up with a self-contained new teapot with its own materials and maps. This is a convenient way to clone models from one scene to another. Keep in mind however, that native cloning will be available in Maverick in a soon-to-come release. Let's now explore other import options. Say that we are working on a model in 3ds Max and we want to export it as FBX. Let's import it in Maverick. Let's apply some materials to it. Now let's keep on editing the model in 3ds Max, adding new parts. It is important to not change the names of previously exported parts so the import process can keep track of conflicts properly. Let's re-export, overwriting the previous FBX file. In Maverick, let's click on Update Last Import. As we can see, the model updates automatically, preserving the materials we applied in Maverick. Let's apply some materials to the new parts. Let's use an FDD modifier in 3ds Max. And re-export, overwriting the same FBX file. Again, update last import from Maverick. Everything is updated with just one click. Now let's move the model in Maverick. 
Let's make more changes to the geometry in 3ds Max and re-export. Update last import will update the geometry, but preserving the position we set in Maverick, which is what one usually wants. Some conflict resolution default behaviors can be changed from the Preferences panel. Preserve Scene X forms keeps position as we just saw. Preserving Scene Materials is another option despite you usually want it set to true. With these new options your workflow between your preferred DCC app and Maverick will be so much more comfortable. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.